वेलकम टू मैथ ए टू जेड आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज डायगोनलाइजेबल लिनियर ऑपरेटर वेन वी से लिनियर ऑपरेटर इज डायगोनलाइजेबल और इट इज नॉट डायगोनलाइजेबल नाउ कम टू द पॉइंट a linear operator of a finite dimensional vector space b is said to be diagonalizable if there exists a basis b this basis consists the vector beta1 beta2 to beta n this means the dimension of the vector space v is n which is finite such that the matrix obtained with respect to the order basis b is a diagonal matrix then we say the linear operator capital d is diagonalizable alternately this definition can also be given as a linear operator capital t on finite dimensional vector space v is diagonalizable if or if and only this is the if and only definition there exists a basis b of v consisting eigen vectors of capital now we try to establish this definition at first we let t is diagonalizable so there must exist a basis b this consists beta 1 beta 2 to beta n such that the matrix of t with respect to beta is a diagonal matrix let it be m of t this is equal to c1 0 to 0 0 c2 0 Zero zero C N. This is the diagonal matrix with respect to the basis B. And since this is the matrix of T, so with respect to the basis B, so we can write here there exists. vector sorry there exists scalar c1 c2 cn such that t of beta 1 this means c1 beta 1 t of beta 2 this means c2 beta 2 and in similar way t of beta n this means cn beta n if we write all this in relation in a one relation then we say that for all beta i there exists ci belongs to the scalar field such that t beta i is equal to ci beta 
for all i equal to 1 2 to n and this is the definition that beta i is a eigen vector of t corresponding to corresponding to eigen value ci so we say that this basis consists all the eigen vector of t so we prove if t is diagonalizable this means the matrix of t with respect to the basis d is a diagonal matrix then the basis of d consists all the eigen vector of t and converse let b is a basis of d consisting all the eigen vector of t then we can easily write t of beta 1 is equal to c1 beta 1 t of beta 2 is equal to c2 beta 2 and t of beta n is equal to cn beta n and this relation can also be written as here we give 0 into beta 2 0 into beta 3 to 0 into beta n similarly in the first position 0 into beta 1 plus c2 into beta 2 0 into beta 3 to 0 into beta n and in the last line 0 into beta 1 0 into beta 2 and cn into beta n now from this relation we can write the matrix of t with respect to the basis b is the coefficient of c1 coefficient of beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 beta n this is in the first column c1 0 0 0 c2 0 0 0 this is in the second column and similarly the last column is c n so we prove the matrix as the diagonal matrix and the diagonal element of this matrix are the eigen values of t so we can say that if the linear operator is diagonalizable then any basis of b that contains all the eigen vector of t then the matrix representation of t with respect to this basis must be diagonal matrix okay so this is the definition of diagonalization of linear operator and this is the establishment of the definition okay this is the today's class thank you thank you for watching